purchased a small piece of land several kilometers outside the city. So we moved from the center of the city to a barren field with no drinking water, no electricity and no roads. She embarked on her poultry business, which her doctors advised her not to undertake as it would only aggravate her asthma. Yet she persisted and pushed ahead with her plans and dreams for her kids. Several times she had setbacks, both financially and emotionally, as many a times entire batch of birds died because of various problems. But she bounced back with renewed determination. Witnessing her constant struggle, her determination and her resolve to fight back and rise, we had no option but to join her and strive to fulfill our dreams and thus her dreams. If it hadn't been for my mother, I would not have been able to sustain the journey from a slum boy to a science diplomat. I did not have to look outside of my house for inspiration. Each time she failed or failed, she got up. Consequently, I had no choice but to rise each time I was faced with adversity or failure. I am sure she is not the only mother who has guided her family through troubled times. However, what she taught us during these years through her own deeds has made an indelible impression on our minds. Last time I met her, I asked her how she managed to rise up so many times. Did she never get tired of it? It is just natural. There is nothing great about it. It is the law of nature that those who don't rise up become extinct. She responded without hesitation. Thank you, Ai, for revealing one of the many sutras or principles of success. Success is equal to rising up one last time.